Mr. Chancellor, it is my honor to present to you Dr. Kamaljit Bhava, a pivotal figure in the fields of biodiversity conservation and climate change science. According to Dr. Bhava, the beginning of his pioneering multidisciplinary studies was somewhat of a lonely struggle. The colleagues did not fully appreciate the many dimensions of his holistic approach which was exactly what he found challenging and exhilarating. But his five decades of research on biodiversity, climate change, and more importantly, people in some of the world's most fragile ecosystems has attracted enormous attention. He has advanced new concepts, developed new innovative tools, undertaken policy initiatives to reconcile livelihood needs with conservation and climate change imperatives in India and elsewhere. Dr. Bhava aligns squarely with Concordia's values in his ability to frame conservation and sustainability as a justice issue, and nowhere more so than through the NGO he founded, ATRI, the Ashoka Trust for Research in Ecology and Environment. ATRI, one of the world's top-ranked think tanks, combines natural and social sciences to undertake scientific, educational development activities that advance mitigation of climate change, biodiversity conservation, poverty alleviation, and environmental justice, all crucial issues for our increasingly hot, crowded planet. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of Senate and the Board of Governors, it is my privilege and honor to present to you Mr. Kamaljit Bhava, so that you may confer upon him the degree of Doctor of Philosophy Honoris Causa. I'd like to ask Dr. Bawa to please present his remarks to the convocation. Thank you. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, honored platform guests, and graduating class of 2019, Good evening and congratulations to all, especially once again, the graduating class. Congratulations for all your hard work and successes that brought you here today. This is a momentous day because the world truly awaits you. The world awaits you your important and vital contributions that you're about to make to realize your personal gains and to serve society. This university, as Chancellor indicated, 
has prepared you well. Family and friends who are here to celebrate this event with you in the, this evening has supported you magnificently and in many cases sacrificed a lot. Now the results of that support, that sacrifice, and your own hard work are here to see for all of us. I welcome you to a new future. When I graduated from college more than 60 years ago, the world was a very different place. It was a very uneven place. Social injustice prevailed, poverty, malnutrition, and illiteracy were rampant across the globe. Morbidity and mortality rates were sky high. Many more people around the world lived under authoritarian rule than under democratic rule. But during the last 60 years, the world has made tremendous progress in education, health, and other aspects of human well-being. And I would say my generation has something to do with that. Poverty has been significantly reduced in the two countries with the world's most poor, China and India. People can now talk even about the end of poverty in the coming decade. However, this progress has come at a very, very heavy cost to our planet. In many parts of the world, the air is unfit to breathe. Rivers have dried up or heavily polluted. And natural habitats have been lost at an unprecedented rate. A recent report by the Intergovernmental Panel on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services indicates that one million species, one million species out of an estimated 10 million species on Earth are on their way to extinction. Climate change is worsening and is posing additional challenges. The people of Canada have already experienced increases in temperature that are twice, and in the north, three times more than the global average. Canada's natural assets, basis of its economy, ice, forests, soils are acutely threatened, and so is agriculture. Montreal is threatened with not only warming, but with flooding increasingly. Beyond Montreal, beyond Canada, even more severe disruptions are underway. In our interconnected world, as the Chancellor emphasized, no society can escape the tremendous environmental, social, and economic upheavals occurring elsewhere in the world. Climate change and the loss of natural habitats and associated ecosystem services 
are the defining issues of this century. And our future will be determined by the speed and the manner in which we address these global challenges. You here represent the generation that has the power and tools to make the changes that will assure our planet's future. You are better equipped to confront the problems than my generation or I was. When I received my degree from a small, fairly unknown college, I had not heard the word climate change or the word sustainability. I had not heard these words even when I got my doctorate. However, I was determined and able to make significant contributions to my field, help establish new fields and innovative world-class institutions. My generations did address many problems that had defied resolution for centuries, and I already mentioned poverty, health, and so on. You can and you will do the same, and even more. You have the knowledge, the tools, and the pressing need to do much better than I or my generation could. You must and you will. The challenges may seem insurmountable, but great opportunities come from adversity. I urge you to focus on those opportunities. You have the capacity to integrate knowledge knowledge from social sciences, natural sciences, arts, and humanities in ways that my generation could not even conceive of. You can use technology, artificial intelligence, as, I men as was mentioned a few minutes ago, in ways that my generation could not imagine. You can link knowledge, policy, and action in ways that my generation could not even dream of. Thus you can and will transform the way knowledge is created, the knowledge is applied to address society's major problems. You will define and develop new pathways to inspire positive change in the world. This great university has prepared you well for challenges ahead. I firmly believe that you have the opportunity to restore and repair our entire planet. And doing, in doing so, you will have the authority and passion to show the ways for creating a more just, a more humane society, and a sustainable world. What could be a more noble goal or a more pressing challenge? We are all proud to celebrate your success today and in many years to come. Thank you for the honor of addressing you today I offer my sincere con con congratulations again. Thank you very much. Dr. Baba, thank you so much for your comments. I am sure that your message will be sustainable as well as the sustainability that we need to concentrate on. And I'm actually quite impressed when I see 
how our children and our children's children are sending that message very strongly to us each and every day. So thank you, and lots of good luck to you.